What's going on, Fight Faithful? This is the Encyclopedia. George Kennebrew here with MMA Mayhem TV. We are here at Conflict 29, Charleston, South Carolina. This interview is being brought to you by MamasBoyApparel.com. Strength, love, and loyalty. And there was a lot of strength that went down at Conflict tonight, but it does not get no better than Derek Kennington. Now, I got to ask you, man, were you watching some Anderson Silva, Leota Machida footage? Because I could have sworn I saw shades of, you know, the 10 hit knee combo, yeah. Leota Machida style. You got to walk me through that, brother. Man, uh, I just got to thank Tomar Washington. Uh, he was a big part of this camp as, as well as Clifton Davis back there. Um, man, we drilled a lot of take down the fence because we knew that's what Shane Crenshaw had, was a lot of takedowns and, you know, he would keep I knew he couldn't stand on the feet with me, you know. So uh, once I stuffed his takedowns a couple times, I knew he would kind of start to fade. Um, and I actually didn't see myself ending this standing. I figured, you know, somehow or way it would have ended up on the ground, whether he took it down or I took it down or I ended up on my back, whatever. Man, I drilled a lot of submissions, a lot of submissions. I even came up with some new stuff as well that uh, I, I can use later on against wrestlers. Um, so. Man, yeah, with Tomar, we just drilled a lot of different take down the fence stuff, stuffing elbows, knees, and everything else, you know. So I don't know what happened, man. It just, I just snapped, something came over me, and I was like, and I hit him with, I saw how good I was holding the clinch, and I just started bombing knees, man. So with that, so with that being said, where do, where do, where do you go from here? I mean, how, how do you top a performance like that? Uh, man, you, I always strive to top my last performance. My last fight, you know, I ended uh, in less than two minutes up in Virginia. I fought a uh, guy, Tough Elder Ramos, um, up in Virginia um, for a 170-pound belt. D1 wrestler. Took him down, submitted him in less than two minutes. Um, you know, I always, I, I've never been to a decision. It's my 15th pro fight. Even out of my amateur fights, I've never been to a decision. And I don't plan on starting anytime soon. Now, I, I, I don't mean to get in the thick of things, but there, there was a little controversy, a little squabble yeah. going on between you and Jay Will, and, and it seemed it was about to be between you and Blake Grice. I mean, is everything all right? Was, was no, there no, some, no. Did it have something to do with the, the way the fight ended? No, yeah. Um, well, it was um, between um, Jared and Blake, and I kind of stepped in on it where I shouldn't have. Um, I kind of like – I felt like um, – they were kind of arguing the stoppage a little bit. Um, but, I mean, I hit him with several, several knees. I mean, I felt them. Um, I'm surprised he didn't go down. There was a couple of them. He was a little wobbly. And I'm st really surprised he did not go down. Um, so he does have a hard head, I'll tell you, I'll tell you that. Because I, I landed several knees, man. Um, and, yeah, he blocked a lot of them as well. But I wasn't going to stop throwing knees. I wasn't going to stop. All right, he said he wasn't going to stop, and I guess we could say tonight Derek Kennington had a knee up on the competition. So with that being said, this interview has been brought to you by MamasBoyApparel.com, strength, love, and loyalty. And that's what he's got, as you see Tamar and Tomar and the crew surrounding us. Oh, my goodness. I did not mean to say Tamar. See, he's going to kick my butt now. Okay, we got Tomar Washington and Michael Barr and the whole team, so I'm going to go ahead and say pace turn for these guys coming. Oh, oh, no. Ah!